terms of not knowing if three of your backs will be available, how do things change for you personally? What's your biggest challenge? Um, you know, my, my the first thing I do is I worry about them. You know, I'll make sure they're all right because, you know, I, I like all my guys. I love all my guys. So I always worry about if they're all right first. Um, Football-wise, the biggest challenge is, you know, just having a plan to get ready. We're good. We know they're going to put a ball down on Sunday afternoon, so we got to have somebody out there and get them ready to go. And it's going to be a great opportunity for whoever that is to go out there. Are all three feeling okay? You brought it up. Uh, they're, you know, they're different places in this whole thing. So they're, at the end of the day, they're going to be fine. You know, at the end of the day, they're going to be fine. But right now, you know, we've they're at different stages of it. Some feel better than others. You're feeling okay. I I feel fine. Knock on wood. Yeah, physically I'm fine. Having the Duke Johnson, sorry, uh, Duke, uh, having the Duke Johnson, how comforting is it to have an experienced back? What what does he give you? Well, I mean, you know, Duke's come in here and he's worked hard and he's, um, you know, he's prepared and he's he's been working to get up on our terminology. We played him a couple weeks ago and he's continued to work. That hasn't changed and he comes in every day and, you know, again, we're just we're we're going to sort the whole thing out and figure out what gives us the best chance to win on Sunday. I was going to ask you if this week you were going to be having to spread out the reps among whoever's left standing. Um, it seems like you don't have a choice in that regard, do you? Well, uh, we spread out the reps every week because we never know what's going to happen. So we, everybody's got to be ready. You know, in the, in our room, we talk about it that you never know when an opportunity is going to come up. and. Uh, so every guy has to be ready. So we spread out the reps because we don't know what the situation is. And the reality is, you know, one guy's not going to play 72 plays. That's just, it, it doesn't it doesn't happen very often like that. So there's going to be multiple players in there. How many multiple players, we don't know. When that happens, situations, all those things, those are all things that, that we're still working through and we're still talking about and we're going to have a plan for. Um, but it takes some time to get all that done. How concerned are you? Um not just for your guys, but league wide more. They were like 32 positive 38 tests, yesterday. 38 yesterday. How concerned are you that you know this might be a sign of things to come? Yeah, that, that's that's for that's for people that do different things than me. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get to New York Jets this weekend and make sure I've got you know the guys that I need on the field and that we're we're ready to execute at a high level this weekend. The, the rest of it, you know, I don't. I, that's, that's somebody else got to deal with that. You guys have shown a greater commitment to a run game in the recent games. Uh, even with guys potentially out, you still want to make sure you're doing that regardless of uh, you know, who's in the back. Well, that's always our plan. Our, our plan is to be a balanced attack. So we want to make sure we have a commitment to the run game in every game plan. Uh, some game plans are different than others, and some games go different than others. But our, our intention is to always have uh, the run game be an integral part of our game plan. Said you might get Malcolm Brown back this week. How do you think he played before the quad You know, I think Malcolm gave us some things. Um, you know, he, he's a he's a competitive person. He's really smart. He does a great job in the in the room, getting to know everything. Um, tremendous work ethic. Everything about that. But I feel that way about all those guys. I think they all come to work, and I think they all um, are competitive, and they all want to be good at what they're doing. So I. I I think they all they all fit that same mold, and, and Malcolm's no different. And with Duke, what, what does he do well as a runner? That you've been able to observe in the one game that he played. In the yeah, I mean, I think you know Duke's Duke. He's an aggressive runner. I think he's got vision, and, and he slams it up in there. I think he can find you know run lanes, and we just gotta. Yeah, I think that's what he does best. How do you feel about how Jared Dokes has worked on the practice squad? You know, Jared's continuing to develop. That's the that's that role on the practice squad. He's here. He's been with us. He's been working. Um, you know, and, and again, he's one of those players that sometimes, you know, the opportunity is going to present itself. If, if that's what it is, then he's got to be ready for it. He's working for that. He wants that opportunity. I know that. So um, if it presents itself, he's got to be prepared and be ready for it. Eric, you guys added next to Williams. What was the, what interested you about him? I think you know. I remember Dexter when he came out um, at the uh, at the combine, and I just think you know he's uh, you know he's he plays with good effort. I think he's a smart guy. I think he's got vision, and um, you know I, I don't know a lot more about him than what we did in the workout, which isn't really playing football. So it's being in with the classroom with him, spending time with him, getting him on the practice field. That's when we'll find out really how much you know how much he would be able to handle if that role came available. Albert with the ball in his hands, um, um, might he be able to contribute in the run game as well? He, he might.
might, yeah. Yeah, he might. Do you eagerly await the test results every day now for <laughs> Philip Miles Savant? No, I, I, you know, I, I can't control that. And the thing I can control is that we've got to come up with a game plan for whoever's going to be in there, and that's what, that's what I focus on. I, 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 I certainly don't want anybody, my players or anybody, to be sick. Um, but we, we've we got to move forward, and we're going to move forward with who's ever here and what we have to do best. I wouldn't press much on the personal nature of it, but since you mentioned there, the three of them are at various stages, all, all I would ask you would be this. Are all of their conditions mild as opposed to serious? Uh, you'd have to ask Kyle what, you know, the definition of serious and how. I, I, don't, I don't know mild from serious. I just, I know I talk to them and how are they and check in on them. That's, that's, where, that's where we are with that. Looking back to week one and um, Austin Jackson was uh, activated uh, before the game, but he, he didn't practice all week. What would be your comfort level if one of them is activated but without practicing this week uh, in professional playing? I've never had that happen, so I don't know what my comfort level or discomfort level would be. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had that one happen. Eric, you said you mentioned controlling what you can control. Have these past two seasons almost been like a master class in kind of only being able to control what you can control and focusing on that? Uh, you mean the last two seasons? Help me with, like the, with the COVID protocol. Oh. Uh, you, know. uh, you know, I. I think it's just a different way of dealing with it, but I think that's what we do the, the entire time. You know, you, you can't control injuries, you can't control uh, things that have happened. So we, we we go about our work every day, and and you you plan the best you can. And when things change, then you have to be ready to adapt. And that's that's kind of what you know. It's no different than than what happens in a football game. We situations change, whatever it is, you got to be ready to adapt and and be flexible. And that's that's what we have to do in everything.